Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Let's School, where we currently have a lovely big pile of money burning a hole in our pocket. So look at that up there. Right now we've got 26,720 monies, which is a very welcome amount of money to have. So I think we should build something which we've been threatening to build for a while now. Let's finally get round to building our own cafeteria. At long last we can have an indoor eating option for the kids. So the plan is for the cafeteria to go over here, and when it's in, it'll provide more food services which is going to be handy but also quite a lot of people in the comments have pointed out that the cafeteria is also quite good at making a bit of money so we'll invest money now to make money later which I quite like the idea of so that's where the cafeteria is going to go however I think we might need to wait for that building work to be completed first we're just doing some upgrades on the wooden bits of school to turn it into brick bits of school because it's a bit less sort of set on fiery if it's made of brick rather than wood and it's a little bit more earthquake resistant as well so I think what we'll do is we'll tick time on a little tiny bit there we go so run time on ever so slightly and then that can get completed I don't think it takes that long Okay, maybe it is going to take quite a long time, never mind, but we'll get around to that eventually. And then look, in come all the students. Oh, hang on. We've got somebody who's a bit unhappy at the moment. Um, Jason Adams, why are you unhappy? You've not even got in the door yet, Jason Adams. You're starving. Oh, okay. I mean, you have had quite a long time to have some food. Did you not have breakfast? Maybe that's a thing you can't do at your place. I don't know. I mean, we've got some lovely food services over here. We've still got the outdoor food tent. And I think as well, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep the outdoor food tent and the cafeteria. Because I think a few people in the comments said, when you've got the cafeteria set up, you could get rid of that thing outside. But I quite like the idea that we're offering a bit of choice. If you want to go and eat in the cafeteria, you can do. If you want to go and eat outside in the food tent, you can do that as well. And I imagine for the most part, eating out here is okay. It's probably quite nice. Like right now, it's what, 22.8 degrees C. Although I think it might possibly, yeah, it is snowing. Okay, maybe right now isn't a perfect time. But for the most part, most of the year, I imagine it's quite nice over here. You can sit outside in the sun, in the fresh air, have a bit of food, and it's going to be all lovely. But then I imagine at other points of the year, it's not going to be quite so nice. When it's pouring with rain and it's a really windy and miserable and cold, you don't really want to be sat outside here trying to eat a very soggy rain-covered burger. Nobody likes a soggy bottom. So I think maybe we are going to keep it the uh, sort of you know the uh, option of choice for the students they can eat out here if they like but if the weather is a bit grim they could go inside to the cafeteria but we are going to keep that I think a few people said that it serves kind of substandard food I think the food isn't particularly brilliant so yeah one meat two veggie combo a never changing combo that is filling but not particularly tasty so it fills them up but it's not very nice. It's, you know, sort of adequate, nutritionally brilliant food, but it's not very sort of tasty to eat. Okay, that's fine. Right, run time on. Hopefully the unhappy person can grab a bite to eat from over here or go and get a snack from the shop over there. Spring is here. The trees on the way here were covered in flowers. They're gorgeous. That reminds me. It was spring when you first arrived at this school. How time flies. Yeah, we've done an entire kind of calendar year. We've done spring, summer, autumn, winter, and now we're back on our second year in spring. Oh, thank you. You remembered. Oh, thanks, Ms. Lynn. The exam requirements will be raised again this year. Hang on, what? Do they get raised? Do the exam requirements get raised? Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of that, Ms. Lynn. During your next speech, you can talk to the students about study plans so they have a clear goal to work toward. Okay, right. Study plans. That's a thing that we might need to talk about. Oh, hang on. Holistic growth, strength in humanities, strength in sciences. We've got all sorts of new sort of topics that we can raise at our inspirational chats. Oh, okay. That's exciting. That's quite fun. Right, let's run time on. Uh, I don't know what's going to be done first. Oh, the speech is first. I was going to say, I don't know if it's the speech or getting the cafeteria in, but no, it's the speech. Absolutely. Here we go. Right. Gather around, everybody. Let's welcome our headmaster. Absolutely. Up you go. Up you go, Betty, with your amazing hair. So there's Betty. The audience feels calm, atmosphere plus five, so 15 out of 100. We're going to do the friendly opening, because that's what we do. Welcome back to another promising semester. Sure thing, everyone's happy, apart from that one person at the front, they're a bit grumpy. Talk about academics, talk about life. Talk about study plans after last exam's results were announced. I think maybe we go for that. Let's go for that because Ms. Lynn did mention about talking about sort of study plans. So let's do that. Let's talk about your studies. 
Um, I got this sure thing. Okay, 40 out of 100. Commend, uh, consolation and encouragement or throw a tantrum. I mean, commend because the results from the last semester were completely, utterly incredible. So commend, well done. I am very happy with how amazingly well everyone did or whatever. We're on 55 and everyone's proud. People are proud at the moment. And now we've got loads of new options. Oh my goodness me, right. So we've got many different options. Holistic growth. I hope to see everyone's average scores uh, to increase across all, of, all subjects in the next semester. Humanities and science points plus five. Okay. Strength and humanities. Everyone's going to get quick mind. Strength and science is going to get increased intelligence. Self-reflection is chance to gain energetic or disappointed. Okay. And then we've got award bonus. So awards select students with a scholarship to encourage everyone. It costs a thousand money, but people might get energized. Or we could say forget failure, remove some of the negative mood caused by failing in exams. We don't need to do that because nobody failed. Um, I mean, at the moment, this a lot are working on, they're just doing uh, science and humanities because that's all the school currently offers. So it makes sense to do that. Humanities and science points plus five. That just pushes them a little bit closer to passing their exams already. And we've not even started yet. So I think we go for that. I like that. Holistic growth. Let's have a lovely chat about holistic growth. I'm sure that's going to be very exciting. Although I do like that. It costs us a thousand, but people might get energized and that's going to make it better as well. Although not everybody is going to be energized. There is a chance that people might become energized, but some people might not. Whereas that first one is just a flat bonus of plus five to both humanities and science. Let's go for that. We've never been for that one before. So let's do that. I hope to see everyone's average scores increase something or other. Um, okay. Did that, that might have come down. That was on 55 and now it's on 50. Okay. Hang on. Right. Do a heart gesture. So love you. Do the heart thing. 60. Satisfied. Okay. The audience feels satisfied. Uh, the lecture was good. Chance of audience receiving a buff. High. Okay, so 29 people got their intelligence increased and 26 people got their memory increased. Oh, that's going to be amazing for our scores at the end of the year. With the exams over, this batch of students is now ready for graduation. Of course, our grade three is get to leave. Okay, so that's going to a picture. Farewell, you lot. You've got fantastic care. Um, right, what shall we do? Let's maybe... Um, oh, goodness. <laughs> can we do... Can we do charming? That's not what the picture looks like there, if I'm honest. <laughs> That's not charming. That's that. No, we're not going to do that. How about that? Is that what we did before? Is that what we did before? Oh, hang on, though. I need to take a picture when we're doing the thing. Hang on. Like that. Uh, yes. Perfect. Are we done with the pose and expression? It, it's perfect. It could not be any better. Yes. Absolutely wonderful. No feast lasts forever. No matter where we are or our students end up. We'll always remember our days at dear old Covered College. And again, come back, everybody. Come back and tell us how you did, because I'm intrigued to know what you all get up to. Right, is time ticking on? Yes, it is. We've still got you. You're still starving. I mean, there's food. Ah, he's buying food. He's buying food. There you go. Have some generic, random nonsense food. Was it meat and two veg, was it, or something? <laughs> is that what it was? One meat, two veg. Okay. So you enjoy your meat and two veg. That'll be nice. Oh, you're injured. You're injured. Hang on a minute. Uh, Sean, is that you? No, not you. Sean Edwards isn't injured. It's the person in front of you. Karen Wells has a severe sprain. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Visiting the infirmary will speed up recovery. Oh, actually, whilst I recall this, a few people in the comments did say that our lighting in the corridor up here might not be particularly good. So I think the lighting in that room is now okay because we sorted that out, but the lighting in the corridor might not be particularly brilliant. Okay, right, yes, they do have a little bit of a point. That corridor there has absolutely no lighting whatsoever. So that's a bit of a scary corridor right now. You kind of have to blunder your way through in total darkness. That room is okay. The sort of new biology lab thing, that's absolutely fine. But then our infirmary over here is also quite dark. There's some windows, so when the sun's up and it's kind of nice outside, that's wonderful. But if it's dark, if it's, you know, winter and it's five o'clock in the evening or whatever, this room's going to be quite dark. Or if it's just a dark day, if, you know, it's just not a bright sunny day, that room is going to be quite dark. So possibly we should maybe put some lighting in up here. Let's get some lighting in. Fluorescent lighting, although over there a hanging lamp might be quite nice for that room. 
because then it's not so glaring. Fluorescent lighting might be quite glaring. So I think, hang, can we come out of that for a second? Click on that. The light and the temperature's not right. Um, hang on a minute. Where's the thing? It was there, wasn't it? The lighting is only suitable. Okay, so if we put one of those in, that might increase it a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. I quite like that. And then that corridor there, the hallway environment is a bit chilly, but yeah, it's got not got any proper lighting in. So I think let's just have, um, I mean, we need something at the top of the stairs. Can we put that maybe as they come up here? We can have, if we rotate it round, put a light maybe there. Okay, look everybody, we can see things. It's amazing. And put one there and then we will put one over there because at some point we will be building out in that direction. Not right now. Right, there we go. Look, we can now see over here because apparently that's quite useful. And then over there, there's a little gentle light. Just you know, light the desk where the person in the infirmary is working, but not too bright for all the patients. So it doesn't hurt their poorly little eyes. There we go. Wonderful. So that sorted that out. Back down we go. How are they doing over here? It's nearly done. Okay, wonderful. So we can very soon, hopefully, get a lovely, lovely, lovely cafeteria in. Uh, hang on, quick check. Did we do the thing? Did we get the students in? Yes, we did. Okay, so six hours time. Six hours and we can get some more in. And we have to remember to do that. Um, yeah, a few people, I think, in the comments said, oh, don't forget to put new desks in the other classrooms to accommodate the two new kids that you got out of a well, which still is a little bit weird. But um, no, I kind of went, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, I completely forgot, but that's not how the game works. They stay in that classroom. Last year they were sort of grade oneers, and now they've just kind of elevated themselves to grade two, but they remain in that classroom. So that's gonna be fine. So when they go again, when those two leave, we can then get rid of those desks. I think that's what we do. We only have to put those in because we had an emergency two kids chucked at us from a well. Bit weird, but there we go. Right, so run time on. Let's get this done. In fact, run time on a bit quicker. Come on, come on. Just get this finished, please. Oh, bits of wood appearing. That's got to be a good sign. Boom. Okay, we got some money back, I assume, for replacing the wooden bits we sold on the used wood or whatever. So we've now got... 28 grand. Oh, okay. <laughs> that worked out quite well. Let's build ourselves quite a big cafeteria. So whereabouts is it in here? Cafeteria, where are you? There you are. Um, okay, so minimum size, 18 squares. That's not very big. So how big is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the minimum size is that. That's not a cafeteria. That's, that's rubbish. <laughs> that is not how that's going to work. So I think, hang on, hang on. If we put it like that, that leaves a little bit of room along here for people to walk through and go to the shop. But I would like it to extend potentially all the way over there and have a massive cafeteria. Have a huge, big cafeteria. Can we not expand the floor a bit more? So have it coming out like that. So just make it really big right now, nice and early on. And then that's kind of it then. Then it's all sorted. We don't have to worry again. Um, okay, let's have some doors. That's as a regular gate. Is, is a gate a door? Is that that? Um, yeah, I think that's that. Uh, a granite main door that has to connect outside. Have we got one of those? Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to go and check that in a bit. Right, let's have a way into the cafeteria just there. And then a way out of the cafeteria along there. Because it seems silly to have any kind of, you know, one way in and out. So we'll have two kind of entry exit points. And then cafeteria window canteen assistant seat dining table seat oh we've got these kind of obscure things again so normal cafeteria window the counter where food is served i hope they give me more food today okay so this is where they're going to serve the food so if we put that up there in that corner so people in for hang on hang on if people are gonna it's more likely people are going to come this way so then if we rotate that around if we say do you know what you come in through the door and you can automatically join the queue to go and buy some lovely stuff. Um, yeah, there we go. I don't know how they're going to get in. <laughs> how are the people who work there going to get in? Um, okay, they can sort of, they can side along there. That's going to be fine. They'll muddle through. And then over here, look, we've got all sorts of things. There's a little kind of stove thing with, I don't know what that is, soup possibly. Something in a basket type thing over there. And then, yeah, sort of various dishes. There's kind of, you know, big sort of pans full of stuff. It looks good. Little menu there for people. That's quite nice. So, uh, okay. Now what do we need? Canteen assistant seat. 
it said there. Uh, yeah, we've got one of those apparently. Oh, it comes with it comes with the cafeteria window. That's kind of part of it, is it? Oh, okay, that's included in that. Right, you are. Um, so multi-seater dining table. So we could now just have quite a lot of these. But then which way round do we do it? Which is going to get the most out of this? Um, hang on. So if we rotate it round, I don't, unless we have, say, some along there like that, and then put some across that wall like that. That could be quite good, couldn't it? So if we had one like that, and one like that, and another one like that. In fact, hang on. We could fit another one in, if we're being honest. If we just do that properly, we could put... Oh, but then we fit one in there. Hang on. Let's move that to the edge. Move that to the edge. I was going to put something behind it on the corner, but I think this might work a little bit better. So if we go like that, look. Put them there like that. And then we can fit another table in just there, which is good because that's more seating. And again, that's more sort of uh, more lovely prettification points and all that kind of stuff. And then we've got a little bit of a gap there uh, where we could put, say, ah, a tray return station. That would make sense. So pop that there, maybe. I assume we can still get into that seat there. So put that there and then have the cafeteria bulletin board. Uh, oh, that's exciting. Hang on. Put that there so people walk in and they can see what's on offer that's wonderful and then how about we have uh cafeteria painting let's put let's put one there that's quite fun and we'll have one just there like that because they're not that much money and it'll help I mean, we need one more facility score point to go up to a level two thing we get more money from it um and then you know, yeah more of these tables so we can put them like that. So if we have one there and then one there and then in that corner we could fit another one of those but we could also fit a few more of these things. So we could say have another one of those um, and then one of those could go potentially there. Um, and then I kind of feel like we need, I mean there are a couple of key things we need in here of course. I mean there's a plant. We haven't got a plant in here. So there's a lemon tree. Yay for the lemon tree. Um, and then I kind of feel like we need a bin. I feel like we need to put some bins around here. I mean, rubbish bins look like that. That would work, wouldn't it? Just on your way out, you nip past here and you put some stuff in the bin. Let's um, hang on, get rid of that. Let's rotate that round. So that can be like that. So you can come in, you've got a bin, you've got a place where you can put your sort of uh, whatever it is, your trays and things. There's a lovely plant in the corner. I kind of feel like over here, ah, space for a bin. Perfect. There we go. We can be lovely and tidy. That's very good. Um, yeah, okay. I quite like that. And then go back to exclusive. So, yeah, it's going to take a lot of facility score to get up to the next level. But our products are now 115% of the price that they should be, which is pretty good. Let's pop that in over there, look, just for the sake of completeness. Right. Um, yeah, okay. We are done. And now we get to pick what we're going to sell. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Braised pork belly combo and three layer beef burger. Triple beef, triple growth. Okay, so the product effect is fullness increased and there's a 10% chance their physique goes up by one because the beef is so beefy. Okay, um, and that thing there is so the braised pork belly combo. Freshly braised pork belly with rice combo. So salty and delicious that you can taste it even hours after eating it. I mean, that does sound quite nice, to be fair, but okay. All right, do that. And then, uh, oh, okay. We've only got the two things we can offer right now. I imagine with research, we can unlock more things. Okay, so that's that done. Currently, the cafeteria is closed. Ah, lights. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. I'm going to put some lights in. Wouldn't that be a good idea? How about... We put a light immediately over here, over the sort of food thing. That would be quite good. So pop a light there and then we'll have a light sort of, hang on, that's one away from the end there. So put a light there and then one in the middle. Can we get an exact middle? Um, I don't think so. That's two away. That's two away. Yes, yeah, so we can't get an exact middle, but there we go, like that. And then we can add a few windows in here. Why don't we add... Uh, a window maybe behind there, so we can look out. That's quite nice look. And then we'll have a window 
uh, that end, possibly, like that. Uh, oh, hang on. That window needs to move. Yeah, move that over into the corner, please. There we go. And then we could potentially just have one window. Hang on a minute. Where have you gone? Doors and windows. Uh, one smaller, yeah, medium one. Just have it one there and one there. I quite like that. That looks pretty good. We might build over here. So we're not going to put windows there. We might have stuff over there. But yeah, okay. That's very good. So it's a stylish room, apparently. It's well lit, which is wonderful. The size is just right. However, it is unstaffed. Of course, we have to put somebody to work in here. So um, the requirements are they need a service certificate. Okay, we've got two people that can do that. Laura Hall, who is working in the shop, and Ernest White, who's in the food tent. Oh, and Scott Mann, who's in the infirmary. Right. Okay. Can we hire anybody else? Teacher recruitment. Ah, you. Sean Hill. You've got a potential of three. Not to you, Sean Hill. <laughs> That's quite terrible. Okay, not you. Um, we have got some quite good, quite good people. But yeah, we need, oh, we need the bicycle shed in. We have to have the bicycle shed. Requires school level four to recruit. We can't recruit any of the teachers currently. Okay, internal recommendation. Do a search, please. Gregory Perry a science teacher. Um, potentially 27. They've got 17 base management, 14 research, not so bothered. 17 teaching proficiency. That would be okay. That doesn't help with our current predicament over here. <laughs> Who can we put to work in here? Um, select. Uh, I mean, yeah, you two. Can we pick you though? Because they're unqualified. So can we... Hang on. I'm just going to try and pick... Um, Who's quite good? Because it's going to be management, isn't it? So 11 or... No, right. Harold Murphy. Can we pick you? No, we can't even pick you. We can't even pick you. So, yeah, if we try and... Can we filter it on that? No. Okay. So, Ernest White from the food tent could go over. And we could potentially close the food tent down temporarily. Um, Laura Hall could do it. She works in the shop. But the shop makes some good money. And Scott Mann works in the infirmary. Um, okay. Do you know what? For now... Let's put Scott Man into there. So Scott Man can now have a bit of a career change and go and sell some food. And then up here, um, ah, the infirmary staff can just be anybody. That doesn't have to be somebody with a particular skill. That just can be anybody at all. Right, okay, that's going to make life a bit easier. So then I think... Get Gregory Perry in, the science teacher. Recruit to you. Welcome aboard. You can immediately go into here and work over there. Excellent. And then we might want to, potentially... What does that mean? What's that mean? Why? Oh, that's just saying it's that. That's the biology lab. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, I think then we might want to think about doing some training. So who was the new person we got? Gregory somebody. Gregory Perry. So you may be increase your management because that might help you work better up in the infirmary uh, and then we want hang on a minute um you're both idle i mean you could potentially both increase your teaching so you can increase your teaching 539 and then we can go back over to here and you can increase your teaching for a grand but you know what it's okay it's again it's probably worth doing it'll pay it back oh Hang on, <laughs> have to be a little bit wary of the money we've got because we have spent almost all of it. Okay, maybe we'll just leave those two training for now. Sort of forgot about that. Um, where is, where's the cafeteria person? Cafeteria, Scott Mann, can we get you trained up in anything? Uh, not right now, not right now. That's pushing it a little bit, isn't it? Okay, right, that'll do. But now we have a cafeteria. And do you know what? It's okay. It's a it's a nice cafeteria. Look at that. It's lovely. I mean, that end's not as well lit as it possibly could be. Is it worth putting a few... Do you know what? Hang on. How much are the lights that hang off the wall? 800 monies. I was thinking we could put one over the... Oh, we can't put it in the middle. Oh, that's a bit of a risk, isn't it? Kids are going to stand up and bash their heads on those things, I feel. Okay, never mind. That's okay. Not to worry. It's okay. The room is adequately lit, I think. Right, run time on. Let's see what happens. And I'm not going to spend any money on the um, those heating things. I think we're going to have to just let people be a bit chilly for a short while. 
And then eventually soon it's going to get warm because it's spring. So I imagine in a little while it's going to get nice and warm. Okay, people are over here. Hang on, where are they getting the, where are they getting the food from? Um, Billy Hall is the huge, hang on, don't you, Scott, mate, you work here. But you're eating here as well. I don't suppose you have to eat, I guess. Right, can you get behind the thing? Can you get behind the counter? You're just eating... That's another burger you've just had. You're just eating another burger. And there we go. Ah, right. <laughs> he's got a hat on. He's got, he's got like proper chef's clothing on. That's very good. Okay, I don't think you should be there, Susan Turner. I'm taking a stroll. You're taking a stroll into the furniture, which is probably not a great idea, but there we go. Um, can we get rid of that tree? Can we get rid of that tree? Um, because it is... We've got 400 money for that tree. It's kind of getting in the way of us looking at this. There goes, sorry tree, but you know, a cafeteria is here now. Uh, okay, that's looking good. We've got a little cafeteria. The kids are coming in. I don't want to do my marking. I work late into the night. The students can't tell if we just do the bare minimum, right? <gasps> the teachers are all having a little secret chat. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> and they're all ordering food. Good grief. Um... Okay, they've left them on their... Okay, are any of the kids coming in to eat? Or is this just open for the teachers right now? Um, are they... I mean, this is good. How much money have we made? We've made 493 money. I mean, it costs quite a lot to get it all in. So that'll take a, a while, you know, a couple of sort of seasons to pay it back, I think. But that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. That's wonderful. And of course, one outside is still doing its thing. Yeah, we get 34 money for the food out there. And we get... A bit more in here, don't we? 51, oh, 34 for the burger, but 51 for the braised pork. Okay, that's fine. Are the kids coming into here, though? Do the children know it's here? I'm not entirely convinced they do. Uh, okay, lunch break. That'll be, that'll be the test, won't it? Let's see how busy this gets over lunch break. And the temperature's going up. The temperature is going up, so people are no longer cold, which is wonderful. That means I expect happiness to creep up a bit. Okay, so the cafeteria is open. People are... People are loving it outdoors. <laughs> um, okay, okay. People are very happy with the outdoors. I was kind of hoping... Remember I knew, stop being silly. Kind of hoping that maybe people might go to the very expensive, lovely new cafeteria we just built. But no, that appears to be just for the... Just for the teachers at the moment. Maybe the kids don't know it's there. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, they're walking past it. Do we need a sign? Cafeteria this way. Come and get your braised pork. It's better than the slop you're eating outside. Um, okay, I don't know. One of the kids there just said, it would be nice if we were on a break now. You are on a break. You're in the middle of a lunch break. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Why is this not... Why is this not working? We can have a cafeteria assistant. Oh, I mean, that is open. So people are using it. We can have an assistant. Okay, I, maybe we don't need one right now. I imagine they go around and like tied the plates up. Yeah, there's a bit of food left there. So I assume the assistant will go and tidy things up. Okay, we have to keep the school clean. Okay, yes. But also eat your square burger over there, please. Wonderful. Uh, right, this hasn't had the uptake that I was expecting it to, but maybe... It's because it was built in the middle of the day. Maybe tomorrow. No, no, hang on. Hang on. Income. Are you all teachers? Uh, yeah, you're, you're all teachers. Okay. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow the kids, because it'll yeah, be opening a brand new day and this will be here actually in the morning. Maybe that's when that'll become busy. Um, okay, that's, that's a bit weird. It's a little bit unexpected. I thought maybe that would be slightly more successful, but not to worry. Right, how are we doing? How are we doing? What is going on? I think maybe it might be time to get our researchers to actually go and do some more research. We've only got the one bit to do. It's school reform level two. It's going to take 2.1 days to do it because I don't think we're quite as efficient as we could be. Uh, suggested proficiency, 120. We've got 114. So it's going to be slow. But do you know what? We're in no rush. That's okay, but then what do we get if we upgrade all that stuff? So we get a concrete structure. Okay, I like the brick, and the brick has got a bit more sort of uh, a bit more visual appeal than the concrete. Hang on, pause time for a second. Um, but then what else do we get? So we get large metal gates, different kinds of windows, intricate main entrances. Okay, very fancy, very nice. Okay, so maybe. We shouldn't upgrade. Oh, that's complete. Yep, yeah, confirm. That's good. Um, maybe we don't upgrade that just yet. Maybe we get the intricate fancy entrance. That could be quite good. 
Okay, run time on then a bit quick. Um, oh yeah, times three. We've got a times three bonus. Okay, right, hang on. Here we go. So this has been a bit of a, um, a, a bit of an interesting thing, which we're not quite sure how it works. So uh, I'm going to need to do some number crunching here. But um, so it was suggested in the comments that if you save these up, you get a bit of a multiplier. So right now, we must have completed three gain contribution point goals. So we've got three of those done. It's going to cycle around three times. And now it says times three. Um, and a few people in the comments have said, oh yeah, it gives you a modifier. You want to save them up and cash them in when you've got a few because then you get more from it. It's a more effective way of earning the points over here and the money. But a few other people have said, no, that's just saying you've got three of these to cash in. So you're going to get three lots of 150 and three lots of 1500 monies. So I'm not quite sure which one it is. So we're going to have to look at, hang on. So if we get 150 times three, 450, um, okay, I can't, hang on, 450 would be, so what's that, I see, in a school game, I can't do basic mathematics, it's a bit embarrassing, um, so we'd get, hang on, 400, 400 onto that would be 2,052, that'd be 400 added on, so we'd get 2,052 plus another 50 would be, two, hang on, 2,102? Is that correct? That seems like a leap. Add 50 on. Hang on. Add the add 300. And then, am I doing that right? Hang on. I'm going to have to cheat and use a calculator. Sorry, everybody. I think it's 2,102. I've got my phone right here. Hang on. This is this is not massive with pens, you see. It doesn't always go to plan. Plus 450. 2,102. I should have believed in myself. So we should, if we get the regular sort of... Um, benefits from this, if we just get that time so we should have 2,102 school score. But if we get some sort of special modifier, because there are three waiting to be cashed in, that should go up to above 2,102. So let's see. So we got a big pile of stuff going on. We've gone to school level four, which is absolutely wonderful. We are now an average school, everybody. 2,202. Okay. Whoever you were, whoever said that, you are completely, absolutely correct. That's now better. We got 100 extra points because we waited. We kind of built them up. Now, we didn't check what we got in terms of money, but we've now got 23 and a half grand. Okay, right. So the moral of the story is save those up. And we now only need, I say only, but another 800. Oh, no, we don't. No, that's not 3,000. We need, oh, okay, quite a lot. Over 1,000 more points to get up to a district school. But okay, so we got the um oh we got the money from that as well. So we can now have a student lounge. We can get vending machines. We can have a grill in the lounge and we can have a social table. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Okay. So we get, oh hang on. Pause time we get a computer room, a large computer display, information podium. Um what what is all that information server? High end servers better server speed and load, and we got some more money. But what does that do? What do we do with the computer room? I'm not entirely sure what we do. Right, get more kids in. That's definitely what we do. Um, Yeah, you lot, admit you all in you come. Welcome aboard. You lot can all go into there. That's absolutely fine. Right, what's the current capacity of that again? Um, class members 27... Oh, no, hang on. No, it's that one. That's class one. Sorry, there we go. Um, We've got... 18 out of 25. So we can get another seven into there and that'll be fine. That'll be another 25 people in. That's going to be good. Right. So we've got to wait for that to kind of spool around again. That's fine. Research is underway. And yeah, we've now got up to 25 grand again. We're back up to where we were. So I think maybe now, do we look at getting ourselves, if I press the right button, that'd help. Do we get ourselves a bike rack thing? Wherever that is. Is it a thing over here? Bicycle shed. A place to park bicycles. That would make perfect sense. So it's got to be 16 squares in size. I'm thinking we put it next to the park. I'm kind of thinking it just comes out like this. So if we make it uh, like that possibly, that's quite big. And then we can kind of have more buildings around the back over there. We might work around the well because of course a magical fairy came out the well. Um, but yeah, we could build around here. We could possibly pick that up and move that thing a bit around. So we could build some more things across here if we needed to. And we could build around the back. And of course, we can build up as well. So we have got upwards to go into. 
Um, okay, so let's get this in. So it needs to be reachable. So it needs to have like a sort of gate bit, I suppose. Okay, so let's put one at uh, that end. And then we'll have another gate at that end. Because again, it makes it easier for people to go about the place. And then we've got a place to store bicycles. Okay. Uh, ah, right. I see. So it's quite a big sort of thing like that. So if we had... Um, how are we going to do this so it looks half decent? Right, a bit like that look. And then a bit backing on like that. Yes, that works out quite well. Um, oh, that's a... Ah, okay. That's a bit of a nuisance. I kind of want it to be... It's a bit too close to the gate, is it? Oh, no, that's okay, actually. Hang on. That's okay. There is... There's one square where they can walk around the edge there. That's not very much, is it? That's not very much. Is it worth just pushing that back a bit? And that's fine. That's fine. I'm being too picky about our bike storage stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll have another one there and another one there. And then rotatey rotate. Just fit as many of these in as we can because we don't know. Obstacle found. In oh, there's a tree. <laughs> I don't know how we didn't see the tree. Can, can we demolish the tree? Can, can we? No, no, don't get rid of the shed. Get rid of the... Away with you tree. There we go. We lost some prettification points, but we're going to get them back by building lovely things. Um, yeah, like that. So I think... I think people... I mean, that's quite a lot of bike parking. So hopefully, we've got 18 grand left, and we've got that in. So now we need some sort of um, path type thing to come along. So uh, where is that going to be? Environment. Let's have that flooring going out this way. Uh, I mean, that's quite fancy flooring, but yeah, let's have ourselves a bit of a thing coming down like that, look. So you can go along that way to it, and we'll put a bit going across. In fact, do you know what? bit like that, and then that can come around here, maybe, like so. Then we can put some lovely things in here, some statues or whatever. I quite like that. There we go. So that's how you come in, and you put your bike over there. In fact, do you know what? Let's do that at a bit of an angle, look. Um, yeah, so hang on a minute. So it's going to have to be like that, look, if it's coming down properly. So, you, so you know, it's like an angled thing. You can go over there. And then, yeah, we'll put some stuff in here. What can we put in there? What outdoor things can we have? Decoration. Uh, a stone lion. Mm, I'm not really feeling the stone lion. A pink flower bed we could have. We haven't got the a clock yet. I don't quite know how the clock... <laughs> I don't really understand how that's supposed to work. There has to be a clock so people can tell the time, but I don't know where it goes. <laughs> Does it go... Oh, hang on. I bet I know where it goes. Does it go up? Does it go on a high up bit? Like that? Oh, hang on. It just goes inside, but where there's nothing... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a second. That was working. Ah, yes. Yeah, so it would be like that. So that's the inside mechanism. So we're doing it from the wrong angle. Okay, right. Now that's one. We'll put that on a high up bit at some point when we get there. Uh, right, back to over here. What can we put over here? What lovely outdoor things can we have? Uh, I don't think there's actually that much. Unless we have uh, some shrubbery stuff. Just some nice flowers. Or do we have a couple of stone lions? I mean, the pagodas are a bit big. A stone lion. Uh, maybe one there, look. And one there. And then underneath that, can we just have... I mean, grass is okay, I suppose, actually. So that's quite good. So again, that's all going toward our school prettification points. That's good. Outdoor, 246 points. Okay, so the outdoors are lacking a little bit in niceness points. And then what can we have in the middle? How about... How expensive are they? Only 200 monies. Oh, that's wonderful. Right, a fountain at the back. So two fountains. That's looking nice. And then at the front, we could have... Where are those plant things? There you go. Flower beds. We could have a couple of pink flower beds like that. Okay, wonderful. And we've still got 13, almost 14 grand left. That's fantastic. Right, okay, with that, I think we do some training. Let's train the teachers up so they can be better at doing the stuff. Right, okay. Uh, who did we want to train up? We want to train up the person that works in the cafeteria so they can become better at management. Two grand, but you know what? It's okay. It's worth it, I think. So you go and do that. Um, and then who else could we train up, possibly? Um, maybe Virginia Scott in management. That might be okay. 500 money. Just make them better. That's never a bad thing. And, um, okay, who's 
not good. Researchers don't need to be good at management. Don't need those to be particularly good at it. So that's okay. Ernest White, um, you're a nutritionist. Not so bothered about you. I kind of thought you'd be a teacher, but no. Uh, Laura. Laura Hall. Oh, yeah. You can, we can't do much with you. We can't do much with you, I'm afraid. Billy Hall. Bee House. Aha. Yeah, we need to go and do something with those in a minute, actually. Hang on a second. That's quite important. So, yeah, the facilities director. They've, they're quite good. Does anybody need to do anything a bit better? Uh, I don't think so. Could you do some better teaching? It's going to be two grand. Two grand. Russell White, 25, 29. Do you know what? Spend that on you. Spend that on you. That's okay. Um, yeah, so last time we made that room there of the Bee House office significantly better. It was a lot better. So we added loads of stuff and it went up to a level two facility room. And I looked thinking, okay, the management efficiency is going to go up loads, isn't it? And it didn't. It stayed 100%. So I thought, oh, I don't really know what the point is of uh, doing all that. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Smiley. <laughs> There's the panda. Hello, panda. Oh, you're peering through the window. That's fun. Um, so I thought, oh, okay. There's not really any point in doing any upgrades to that room because it makes no difference. But then a few people did point out in the comments that when the room goes up a level, you can add another management module, which is very good indeed. So at the moment, we've got the one applied to that room, which is teaching guide. So teaching efficiency for countable classes, which is all of the classrooms we've got because it's part of B House, goes up by 10%. But satisfaction of homeroom teachers will decrease slightly. That's OK. We can cope with that. But now we can have another one. So we can't have that again. Research is king, not bothered. Extracurricular books. Increases students' tuition in managed classes by five monies. Eh, not bothered. Cat caretaker. Allows the department to care for the campus cats. I mean, that would make sense. All the cats are in here anyway. That might be quite fun. Sound judgment. Management costs of managed departments minus one. And all staff salaries go up by 2%. And we've got unpaid overtime. Reduces the salary of managed staff. Smart budgeting, management efficiency of managed departments plus five, staff salaries up by plus five. Okay, so they will get plus five to their management, but we have to pay quite a lot more in terms of wage. Uh, slightly increases the discipline of students in managed classrooms. Okay, so we become a bit more strict. Uh, that's research. School donation. Increases students' tuition in managed classes, not bothered. Teaching KPI. Increases the teaching efficiency of managed classes by 20% but slightly dissatisfies homeroom teacher. Oh, hang on, that's better than that one. We'll replace that with that one. And then we'll have... I kind of feel... I know it makes no difference, but I kind of feel like we should have cat caretaker. <laughs> um, although, does that belong with facilities, which are over here? And we possibly should upgrade their thing as well. We need to make their room a bit nicer so they can have two management module things applied. Um, I mean, is it good? Do we want them to look after the campus cats? Or do we want them to do other things? Um, do you know what? You've got a room full of animal-related things. Let's just have you looking after the cats. Because that's fun. The cats are our friends. They live here. We're going to make sure they're okay. Right, and then over to here we go. So how are we looking over here? Um, 27 out of 35. There is one thing we could throw down to get that up pretty much immediately, if I can recall where it is. The promotional poster. There we go. So... 15 aesthetics points and 8 facility score for reasons I'm not entirely sure about because it's just a poster. How good can it be? Clearly it's very good. Boom. Okay, that's wonderful. And if we could just add another little bit of decor to get that up. So 5 more aesthetics points would be quite good. So where can we get them from? Uh, a red flag. We'll put one of those behind there. That's good. And then we haven't got anything on that wall. There's nothing on that wall right now. Um, are we likely to ever add anything onto there? Do we put a window along there? And then put something on either side of the window? That might be quite nice. Let's do that. So uh, yeah, we'll put a little a nice window like that, looking out that side. So that's good for the lighting. And then, um, yeah, if we could get two more points on something, that'd be good. Uh, you've got your plant. What else can go on the wall? A small landscape painting. That's quite nice. So pop that there. Now that's going up to average. That's very nice. Oh, we've got another painting. Is there another painting? Slogan boards. PA speakers. Um, that's a running track thing. No. Okay, do you know what? It's okay. 
What are these? What? We can... What are these? <laughs> we can build some sort of temple. No. What? What is this? Okay, right. We can build a temple. Wonderful. We can build some sort of gigantic multi-level shrine to ourselves. Okay, that's a bit unexpected. Hang on. We're going to go back over here. Um, come out of that. Come out of that. Hang on. Who's managing the, um, who's managing the cafeteria? Because it should go under facilities, but it's 13 points. Facilities can't quite manage that right now. Okay, so the moment that's being looked after by the headmaster. Um, what have they got? What if we drop them out to there and bought that in? So they can look after that. Right, 50 out of 51. Okay, so we can't quite get the tea room in there, but that's okay. That's okay for now. It would be good if we could get that in, but not true. We'll try and work on the facilities room. Um, also, B House has got the bikes. Okay, bikes can go up as well to the headmaster office. I kind of feel like they should be in facilities too. Uh, right now, you can have another you can't have another thing hang on what why can they why why can't they and now i'm really confused now i'm terribly confused is it maybe it's not the level of the room okay maybe i've maybe it's not the level of the room i thought that's what it was i thought that's what it was okay run time on a bit maybe we have to move time on no Unlock the slot by assigning a person, I assume, with... Oh, it's all about the person, not the room. Okay, right. Forget everything I said about making the room better, because that makes no difference at all. It's completely irrelevant. Maybe it makes it easier for them to earn their certificate, possibly. Right. So we need the person who works here. We need whoever it is. Uh, Susan Turner to get her... Uh, to get her qualification. Hang on, Susan Turner, how near are you to getting that? Um, you are a sign. Can we just look at you? There we go. So, uh, yes, how near are you to getting any kind of things? Um, intermediate management. Oh, you're getting it. You are working toward it. Okay, so maybe it won't take that long for you to get your thing. And then we can level up that room. Okay, wonderful. Right. Run time on nice and quick. Because at the moment, I'm a little bit sad that that's not working. Uh, with the improvement to the school level, new speech options have been unlocked. You can also make requests for teachers. Oh, so now when we do our speech, we can do different things. And we can also have a little chat with the teachers as well. So we can inspire the students and the teachers, the kids and the staff. Okay, that's good. That's good. I quite like that. That's wonderful. Right. So period four. Let's get through to the next day. Let's fly through to the next day. That research is going to take an absolute age because we're not that good at it at the moment. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. Let's get through to the next day. Gregory Perry's training is complete. Well done, Greg. That's wonderful. I think he's the new chap who now works up in the infirmary. I think that's where they are. So, okay, coming up to after school, Virginia Scotts is done. This is good. All that training is going to be worth it in the end. So I'd like to see, we're going to go through the, um, the night pretty quickly. There we go, fly through. We're going to get to the morning. I want to see if people do arrive by bike now. I don't I want to see if people like just appear. Oh, hang on. Your rank has dropped by one. You're currently ranked two. Wait, what? What do you mean? Why? Why why has that happened? What do you mean? School ranking of two. Uh yeah. Hang on. We're se seventh? Why are we a ranking? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe it's a lack of students. Do we need some more students in? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's the satisfaction. The food is disgusting. Um, Joe, I don't know. I don't know where that's come from. Also, I don't know where the school is. There's the school. Hello, school. How are you? Um, right. Are people going to come in? And also, more importantly, potentially, have we got kids coming in? No, not right now. Two hours time and we can get the final seven students in to fill up that classroom. Okay, I don't quite know why our school level dropped there. That was a bit weird, but okay, and everybody comes. We get paid a little bit of money every day because that's very lovely. Right, so get everybody in and... Uh, ah, facilities is now under stress. Why is that 52 out of 51? Why has that happened? Okay, for the moment, um, Betty, you're going to have to look after the um, look after the cafeteria. And I'm going to drop that down there. And that down there. So our facilities can look after the bike shed and the tea room. Right, okay. I don't think anybody came in by bike today because I assume the people 
who are here are from Mudford. And Mudford is kind of there. They can just walk in. They can cross the road or whatever. So maybe we're not going to see people coming in on bikes just quite yet, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. There we go. Right, so run time on nice and quick. We need to get that research done. But also, I just want to get the next lot of students in. So there we go. Right, so we've got five. How many can we accommodate in here? Was it five? It might have been a bit more than five, possibly. Um, seven. Okay, so we're not going to fill up our complement of students. Okay, never mind. Right, admit everybody. In you come. You're going to be fine. It's going to be amazing. Right, all the ones who are not assigned, you can go into that class there. Um, it might be worth getting the other two in just to finish it off. And they'll be with us for the entire time they're here. It'll be wonderful. By the end of their third grade with us, they'll be passing exams in their sleep. It'll all be wonderful. But uh, yeah, there we go. Right, run time on nice and quick. Let's just get some money coming back in when they go to these sort of food tents and the cafeterias and things. But I do want to see if anybody else other than the teachers now comes into the cafeteria. Um, hang on, are you a student? Um, yes. You're a student. Okay, you've come into the cafeteria. Hello, how are you? Welcome. You've got a fishing net. You should possibly put that down while you're eating. <laughs> That's going to make it very difficult for you to eat. If you're trying to eat with a fi fishing net, and now you're not a fishing net, like, well, I suppose it is a fishing net, like a bug net, um, you're also eating that burger. And that burger has been there a while. That burger's been there a little while now. Possibly we should get somebody to clean that up. But okay. Are we supposed to have an assistant? Is that why it's not really very good in here? Do we need to get a cafeteria assistant? I mean, anybody can do that job. Do we recruit somebody to go and work in the cafeteria? <laughs> I don't know. These people are all quite expensive. I don't really see them wanting to work in a cafeteria. Martha Malone is level 2... Uh, oh no, hang on. Ah, no, we need to be school level two, but no, you're both level three. Got several level three people and a level four person. Um, we could get you. Kenneth Baker is very good. Daily wage, 416, but they've got a potential of 40. That's huge. And for some reason, we're not providing enough drinking water all of a sudden. When we were last time, 83 out of 86... Okay, that's a bit weird, but okay, we'll look at that in a second. Hang on a minute. Um, maybe we get... You've got a management certificate. Do we keep you around? Do we pop you into the school? Have you doing some science teaching? Because that's fine. But then eventually, when we need to open up another admin room, you will be part of the school. Maybe we have a little bit of a recruitment drive going on. I think that could be quite a good idea. Do you know what? You're in. Kenneth, you can come in as well. And now we need somebody to go and work in the cafeteria. Oh my goodness me, Jennifer Bailey. Look at her potential. It's four to eight. Management three. However, art teacher. So at the moment, you're going to be doing completely nothing at all. Do we get all these people on board? Do we recruit all of these people? Jessica Taylor could potentially go and work in the cafeteria. Sorry, Jessica Taylor. <laughs> you're a highly qualified science teacher. We are going to put you to work as a cafeteria assistant. Um... Do we get those two in and just train them up so when we do open up to arts and sports students, they'll be ready to go? Maybe we do that. And it's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to be very expensive, but it might be worth it. Do you know what? We're going to do it. Boom! We've recruited many, many people. Right, we haven't got much money left. Um, and hang on a second. Go to here. Let's get us a cafeteria assistant. And I think... It was... Was it you, Jessica Taylor? It might have been you. Hang on, who else could it have been? We're going to keep you around to do the other stuff, to do the management stuff. It wasn't you, it wasn't you. Um, Harold Murphy... Harold Murphy is a giant, apparently. Okay, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Harold, what does that mean exactly? Harold Murphy, giant, uh, taller than average, great for basketball. Oh, Okay, <laughs> good, good, that's that's good to know, yay. Um, okay, wasn't any of you down there? Yeah, your sports, your humanities. Well, I think we've been training you up anyway, haven't we? Um, who was, I'm fairly certain it was, it was you, Jessica Taylor. So you can go and work in there, that's good. And then, can we possibly train up, um, yeah, you, 
your art. So train you up in management because you're pretty rubbish at that. You've got a potential of 48, so this is pretty good. So we'll train you up in that. And then where's the sport person? Was it you? Yeah, they've got different backgrounds. You've got a yellowy background, so you're the sport person. Train you up in management as well. Only 500 money. Perfect. So when we do eventually open up to uh, kids who want to learn all about arts and sport, we're going to have two very well-qualified teachers ready to go and tell them what's what, which is marvellous. Right, food. 83 out of 86. Um, okay, so we've got not enough water provision. Uh, is it worth throwing down a few of the... Uh, where were they? Were they in here? A few of these? A few water stations? I mean, can they go anywhere? Can they just go in the corridors? Because, I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? That would be quite helpful. We could put one there, for example. That's quite good, isn't it? There we go. We'll put one there. And we'll put one... In fact, hang on. That whole corridor needs a little bit of something. Uh, come out of there for water. Go to just looking at the school. Uh, why don't we, along here, put a water thing and a water thing to really make sure that people can drink water? And then we can have some bins because I like that. Cleanliness is important. Keep things clean. And then in the middle, have a cleaning supplies cabinet. That's going to be good. Put a cleaning thing on the wall just for the sake of it. Um, and then, I mean, sinks over there is a little bit odd, isn't it? Um, and then, how about, where is it? Security. Where's a fire thing? Fire safety cabinet. Put one of those there and have a fire alarm next to it. There we go. And now we have no money. I didn't realise how expensive all those things were. Good grief. <laughs> Can we afford a bench? That'd be quite nice. Can we afford... No, not a shabby bench game. Come on, give us a higher quality bench. There we go. A normal wooden bench. Um, hang on, I'm going to rotate it around. Put that there. So people can sit over there if they would like to. Uh, we'll put one there as well. I assume that doesn't stop people getting stuff out of the cabinet. Well, that looks a bit uncomfortable to sit on. Um... Sure, it's done now. It's fun. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now we have not much money left, but this corridor is now significantly better. And somebody did just go and get something at the cleaning cabinet. Okay, good stuff. Wonderful. Uh, right, I would like to, if we could, I'd like to get through to the point where we've got enough money to pay the wages, which of course is very important. I think we will get there. I'd like to send some people out and about. I'd like to send them out and about on a fun trip because we have got a couple of places which we could go to. Um, oh, there was somebody being a bit of a nuisance there. Uh, right, Jennifer Bailey, your course is done. That's very good. That's very quick. Good job. Good learning. Splendid. Um, yeah, over here on the map, we could either go over to that unexplored place if we wanted to, or we could nip down here and go to the farm, have a lovely trip to the farm, which might be quite fun. So, do you know what? Let's send our year... It's the year, hang on, which year? The the second years go out on the big exploration. So is it the third years we send out? Possibly let's send the third years out over there, shall we? So uh, yeah, you lot, have a fun trip out. You go over there and do whatever it is you've got to do over there. And by the time you're back, we'll then send the year twos out to go and explore that new area. That's what we will do. Right, okay, yeah, that's good. You're all learning stuff, wonderful. Right, tick time on, get research done, get those people out to the farm, see what that's all about and try to get enough money in to pay the wages. But I think, by the look of it, we're going to be fine. And I think now we can get the final two students into year one. Yeah, there we go. So two applications down here then. I thought maybe clicking that would open this up, but no. Okay, so uh, student admission, those two, admit those. And now that means, I think... Oh, hang on. Got to put them into the classroom, haven't we? So pop those over into that class. I think that now means that class is full. 25 out of 25. Marvellous. Okay, right. So that's looking pretty good. They're making their way there. And now I think it might be worth... I don't think we can do anything more with Mudford. What does that do? Community investment. What does that do? Hang on a minute. This is a whole new thing that I didn't know about. Basic infrastructure. Minus 700 monies. Uh, humanity education push. What do these do, though, game? What do they do? Um, I imagine it makes them like us a bit more, but they already like us a lot anyway. We're already quite popular in Mudford. Um, but I suppose, yeah, if we do Humanities Education push, that means uh, the kids coming through are going to be better at Humanities. Same for Science, same for Art, same for Sport. And basic infrastructure is we give them some money, 
And yeah, our popularity goes up a bit. Okay, maybe, hang on. Maybe now we've got a bike shed. Could we look at a new place? So where's the next? I mean, we're over here, look. So they seem to be quite near. What do they want? They want science and sports over at Finch Bay. But we'd need an admissions office. And to do that, we need a bicycle shed, which we do have, which is good. Um, however, the kids from there could be naughty and heat averse. Okay, I know how they feel. With a heat averse thing, I'm not naughty. I'm always well behaved. Um, okay, so Theatre Boulevard, they like... Ah, right, they're the complete opposite. They like arts and sports. So we might struggle with those. And over here in Groundshire, it might be worth getting them in Bicycle Shed. They like humanities and science. And that is where, at the moment, we excel. Uh, set up a bicycle shed over there. Oh, no, we've got a bicycle shed. We can set up an admissions office. That's what I meant. We could set a bicycle shed over there if we want to. <laughs> Bikes are everybody. Um, do you know what? Let's go to Groundshire. The students of this community like to study, but their finances are tight. Being poor does not mean a lack of ambition. Okay, so it's a bit like Mudford. It's a bit like Mudford. But, yeah, what's that? Good at everything. That's wonderful. And meal packer. Okay. Do you know what? Establish an office. So, yeah, okay. Do that, please. Five applications per week. Okay, so now we can start taking kids from elsewhere. Not just Mudford. We can now possibly get up to our full complement of full complement of kids a little bit earlier on. So the chances are, if they're in the school earlier, they can do more learning and then pass our exams. Okay, right, yeah, confirm that. Okay, Headmaster Betty Cohen. Hello, I'm Headmaster Woodrow. I hear you've done quite well in literature. That's great here. I have a lot of experience in teaching humanities. If you need any help or suggestion, don't hesitate to ask. From Woodrow Wilkins Magnet. Is that your name? You're called Woodrow Wilkins Magnet. That's fantastic. Headmaster Woodrow. Um, okay. So open for admission. So confirm. Do we just say confirm? Uh, right. So ground shear. We can now take two from them. But at the moment we can't. We can't do that. So ah, it would have been good to have Mudford open to compare against. But okay, never mind. So now we've got that set up. And then can we go over here and just give them yeah, 164 monies? Does that just get our reputation up a little bit? So if we do that, yes. Um, yeah, it goes up a little bit. Okay, let's invest a little bit of money in the basic infrastructure of ground shear. Let's get up to that yellow bit. So just keep investing money. Uh, thank you for investing in us. I hope you don't mind how bad the place is. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is what we're here for. We're here to help you. Right, we can't do any more this week. Oh, right. So there's a number of... So that's a finite thing you can do each week. Okay, no, that's absolutely fine. That is wonderful. Right, there we go. So we've got ourselves you know, a good load of students in from Mudford, and that's done as well. But now possibly we can get some students in from elsewhere. That is very good as well. Okay, right, good stuff. Two kids coming in. Um, Sakura, hi. Uh, oh, hello. Ah, my school has been facing a few admission issues. I wonder if I'm the problem. How I envy your endless stream of student applications. Um, yeah, I mean, we are full right now. You, you can have those ones. <laughs> Just have the ones that we don't want. It's all fine. We're all friends in education. That's a wonderful right. So clear that. Uh, let's get the dispatch team out to the farm, shall we? Let's do that. That's going to be our next big thing. Will they do that by the end of the day? I'm not quite sure. Academic stream. Ground shear might not be rich, but we will never lose to anyone when it comes to a thirst for knowledge. You are so good to, uh, good to us, Headmaster. Cubber College truly is the hope to change our lives. <laughs> You've not been yet. You've not been. Maybe come and take a look around first. Good grief. Uh, yeah, okay. That, that's good. I'm glad you have faith in us. I don't know if it's entirely you know, well-placed faith or not, but there we go. You like us, and that is very good. I'm very happy. Okay, end of the day has rolled around, and we're in negative money, which is quite bad. Okay, so we're in debt. Right, that is a little bit of an issue, but I think that's going to be sorted the moment everybody comes in. People are going to pour in. There we go. Hello, everybody. And the debt is gone. There we go. Bang, and the debt is gone. So now, all we have to do, confirm, is not really spend huge amounts of cash today. Because we have to keep enough aside to pay the wages. I have to remember that our teachers need paying, you know, the money so they can live and such like. But the good news is, the dispatch team are nearly at the farm. They're nearly there, which is good. And also the research is almost done, which is quite good as well. But that's our next big thing. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, they've arrived at the farm. It's quiet and beautiful here. The students are eager to join in the fun. Okay, so what are we doing? The activity has formally started. The students and teachers will stay here for a while and return by themselves once the activity is over. Okay, what are they doing? Are they literally just farming? Are they farming? So, they're just unwinding in the soothing embrace of nature. So they're, you know, looking at crops and, I don't know, examining, I don't know, stuff in fields and <laughs> learning about irrigation systems. Okay, that's fine, is it? Okay, that's good. And now they're just gonna, they're just gonna carry on doing that until they're done. Okay, where's that school? That's Sakura High right there. Where's your school? We don't know where that is. Oh, can we go and be nice to the other teachers? That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Can we praise them? Uh, thank you, but I don't like how your school operates. Oh, okay. Can we go and praise you? Praise. Thank you, but I don't like how your school operates. Well, okay. I mean, we like you and we like your name. It's amazing, but okay, right. They're not so happy with us. Hang on. Um, reprimand you. Reprimand you. Stop being silly peoples. Um, yeah, I don't know how long, how long are they going to be there? <laughs> It looks like they're out on the farm for an entire day. Okay, I want them to hurry up, really. Because I want to send the year twos out. The year twos need to go out on their field trip. But, I mean, it's already the second sort of learning period of the day. And they're, what, a quarter of the way through? Are they going to even be back by the end of the day? I don't think they are. Okay. <laughs> fine, we'll just sort of sit about and wait. It's okay, it's okay. It's fine, we've got nothing else to be doing. Just carry on doing your learning. And our school reform level 2 research is finally complete. It took a while, but we got there in the end. Conduct a structural reform to unlock headhunting recruits, new region for dispatch, and new buildings. In the meantime, unlocks new research content, ushering the school into a new phase of development. Very exciting. And we've got fancy new things. Here we've got fancier doors and different windows and things. We've got concrete staircases. We've got intricate main entrances. I mean... If we could just get a little bit more money, I'd like to put one of those in. I would like an intricate main entrance because it sounds very fancy. Um, okay, continue our research. Right, pause time in the background. Now, we've got all of this research going on down here. Okay, right, what do we go for? What do we go for now? Student guidance office? Oh my goodness me, okay. That might help. Help students with their mental health issues. In terms of education, it's all the advanced versions of what we already have. So advanced humanities and science and art and sport. Okay. And management wise, advanced teaching assembly hall. Okay. That could be quite good. Get a nice assembly hall. Corporate cult. Oh, corporate culture. <laughs> it says corporate cult there. I was thinking, what type of game is this? Um, okay. So unlock more features in the teacher management module. Okay, so perks not pay, contract fulfillment. Okay, that's the modules that we can apply in the management rooms. Oh yeah, Lifestyle's got all these kind of things. Food upgrades and all that kind of stuff. Um, hang on, comfortable living, comfortable lifestyle. Um, heaters and air conditioning. Yeah, we want that because it's a bit silly having to put blocks of ice around to make it cold and then put, I don't know, coal burners to make it warm. That's all a bit daft. So I think, yeah, can we get that done? Can we get that done? Again, that's going to take a long time because our research rating is now relatively low. Okay, I don't think we can do too much about it. We're not to new zone in the dispatch map. That's good. Can we have a look? Oh, where, hang on, what? Where are we? I was going to say, oh my goodness, but I don't know where we are. Um, where, where are we? Oh, oh, <laughs> right. We're all the way over here. There's an entire new bit of the world connected by these little kind of bridges. Oh my goodness me. Right. The the map is actually significantly bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. <laughs> wow. Right. That's huge. That's a big old thing. Hang on. Woodrow Wilkins has sent us a message. You started your school reform. It's a little late, but you're still young. I'm sure you'll catch up soon enough. Okay. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Okay. That's good. Um, and haha, we're quite similar, you and I. It gladdens me to see you start your school reforms. Let us strive together to push art education to further heights. We don't redo really art very well at the moment. We have got a nice statue out the front of somebody carrying a box. And that's inspiring, apparently. We do need to get the other ones of those. We need to get the equivalent sort of science ones and sports ones and all that kind of stuff, but they're quite expensive. Uh, right. Let's get this thing sorted. Come on, dispatch team. You can be done by the end of the day. <laughs> we believe in you. And there we go. The farm trip has concluded. All students have had a great time and the school has received government subsidy. 
Oh, so we are going to get paid. Oh, I just thought the trip was subsidised and then they'd go and do some learning about farm stuff. But hang on, so 8.3 up to 11. We've got three grand. I mean, that's quite nice, I suppose. But okay, right, they're all coming back from a fun trip out. Okie doke. So let's send the year twos away right now. Let's send them out before I forget. So okay, go to the map. They can go to there. Select a class. Um, yeah, the year twos. Out you go on your fun trip with Ms. Lynn. Ms. Lynn is very good at this now. She knows what to do exactly. So there we go. Wonderful. They can head out. And what have we got over there? Um, we could cash that in. But again, if we leave it, we get more later on. And there's no point cashing it in right now. We're not going to go up at all. So let's leave that for now, I think. That's absolutely fine. Um, and I think... Yeah, can we just make sure everyone's back in? So the year threes are back in. The year twos have gone out. Okay. There we go. And then it's recess. And then it's break. And I think then it's going to be the end of the day. Oh, as the number of students and staff grow, course scheduling will become more complicated. Auto scheduling will make it a breeze. To make full use of it, ensure you have sufficient teachers and facilities. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello, you're telling me how to do a thing. Now open course. Click the auto scheduling button to automatically schedule courses for the class according to the major of the majority. Okay. I don't want to do that though, game, because I know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't want to press the button, game. Don't don't make me press it. Okay, I've pressed auto and I'm going to cancel it. There we go. Yeah, it'll auto schedule some stuff, but we're okay right now. We're all fine with that. That's all wonderful. So I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. But I think you've got quite a lot to do when we come back. We've got many things. Hang on, did you pick up your course thing? Botherations, no, they haven't got their course thing. Um, because, yeah, we've got all sorts of new things we can build now. All sorts of new things. Uh, we've got a computer room. We could have one of those. That will go up near the um, the biology lab. Um, we've got a music room. got an art studio. They need to go in as well for we eventually start accepting people who want to do arts and sports and things. Sports for the outside, of course. Um, and then, yeah, we've got... Where's the student lounge or whatever it was? Because that sounds good. Where's that? Didn't we unlock one of those? Hang on, it's got to be here somewhere. It was around somewhere. We got told about it. Um, food tent, tennis court, school store, infirmary. Oh, table tennis room. Somewhere to play table tennis out outdoors, but in a room. Okay, don't fully understand that. Where's the... Didn't we get a student room? I thought it said we unlocked a student... Like a student lounge. Maybe... Maybe it's not here. Or maybe I'm just completely overlooking it. Both those things are entirely likely. Okay, plenty to do next time, though. There's loads of things to do. I mean, yeah, computer rooms and everything else. We've got those out on their trip. Going to go and discover a new bit of the world. Got the exams coming up next time. Then we'll get a big pile of money following that. And then we can do some more building work. Got some more upgrades to do. I'd like to get the... Um, get that sort of old doorway replaced. We could put a lovely fancy kind of door in, try to get everything put into brick. There's loads to do. There's absolutely loads to be getting on with. So well, yeah, we'll finish up for now, come back next time and carry on our adventures over here at Cupboard College. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. These people are eating the tables. They're just devouring the tables. They're so hungry. There's no atmosphere at all. Were well, you sat in the car park? <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place? Mein Knien stan in Brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this. 